Hey, what's up, everybody? You know what this is. It's your boy, Will. And, you know, I've been getting a lot of questions, and people want to know my thoughts on the stimulus package and how our economy is. Well, you know, I'm not going to be long-winded like Obama did in his press conference asking, you know, answering one question with a 10-minute answer, because I'm not going to bore you. But my thoughts are that this stimulus package, and I'm not going to give you the same run-of-the-mill Republican conservative garbage, because we do need something to push our economy forward because things are kind of bad but people let me let me let me let me put it in historical perspective for you it is not as bad as it was in 1980 it isn't as bad as it was in 1989/1990 and it sure as hell isn't as bad as the great depression if you understood historically what the great depression was like then you would understand the fluff and the hype that the Obama campaign and his allies in the press are trying to slam down your throat. The Great Depression had in the 20 percentile range of unemployment. Soup lines, people homeless, not people losing their homes, we're talking about millions homeless. They had shanty towns, people living in aluminum um, huts and boxes. People using newspaper for shoes. Children out there robbing in the streets to make ends meet to get just a scrap of food. Things are not near, nowhere near as bad as that. But the press knows and Obama knows that the average American knows nothing about history. And they can maneuver your brain and your thought process to think that things are just that bad when they are not even close. The recession we had in the 70s during the Carter administration is way worse than we have right now. But we survived through that, didn't we? And, you know, for him to even, you know, I think it's kind of a slap in the face, to be honest, to the greatest generation, the people who actually worked themselves, who, who actually lived through the Great Depression, and then went on to fight World War II and take out people like Mussolini, Tojo, Hitler, you know, the, our greatest generation, people like that, and then FDR, one of our greatest presidents, for him to even try to put himself on that plateau with just a year in the Senate and being a community organizer is kind of disingenuous, don't you think? I mean, put your thinking caps on, like my Miss Rosenblum, my kindergarten teacher used to say. Put your thinking caps on, people. For him to even say this is probably the worst thing since the Great Depression in itself is misleading. Just like hope and change was misleading, like change, Hillary Clinton, need I say more? Clinton needs this all over the place. He says, I'm not going to put lobbyists in my, I mean, and then he puts lobbyists in his cabinet, around him, director this, director that ex-lobbyists, lobbyists, oh, they don't lobby anymore, they lobbied a year ago, but they were lobbyists. The man is phony. And, 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 and he's trying to use phony, and pho excuse me, he's trying to use fear. Let's just put it plain and simple. He's trying to use fear to get you people to rally around the stimulus package. Oh, I'm sorry, the recovery plan. But it's not a recovery plan. It's rewards for the people who helped get him elected. If you truly look at this plan and you go on certain websites, you will see that some of the pork in this plan is going to the people who helped him get elected. Do you know that $2.5 is going to ACORN? ACORN, people, the people who hijacked and rigged this election in certain states and cities, ACORN is going to get billions, not millions, billions of dollars to set up their way of doing elections and election fraud for the next two, four, six, eight years. They're going to ensure that in 2012, Obama get re gets reelected because I guarantee you that money is going to get funneled back to him somehow. It's all a soon, uh, what they would call a circular game. Don't be fooled by the hype, people. This is not a stimulus package. This is a reward for the people who helped Obama get elected. If you really want a stimulus package, you've got to have a balance between two things. You've got to have tax cuts and incentives for business to want to grow, but you only give those tax cuts. They have to be targeted tax cuts, with, like with a laser pointer, for businesses who do good. You don't want to give it to fat cats on Wall Street who are going to 
just totally F the people. You give it to good companies with a proven track record. And then you have to have a list of things that these people actually have to adhere to in order to use that money. Now, some people say that's government telling the private sector what to do. But I'm honestly, do you really want to just give money to the same people who screwed up the money in the first place and got us in this situation without any stipulations? But see, that's what we did with the so-called first stimulus package. We just threw money at the problem and didn't give a damn where it went. That's the problem when you don't have people who have the experience and the know-how on what to do. And for all you Obama lovers out there who say, well, it was Bush who got us in this problem. No, Bush was not a Republican. Bush was not a conservative. Bush was the commander in thief. He was about robbing you. He was about going inside your pocket. I mean, it's like he came into your house, went into your children's room, took the piggy bank, smashed it on the ground, and took the money and ran out the house. That's what he did to the American people. He is not a conservative. He's not a Republican. He was a thief. And he was a thief who was ruled by somebody like Dick Cheney and Richard Pearl and all the other neocons. They could care less. They were about pillaging and robbing. They were no better than the Vikings of the old days or the Vandals who tried to ransack Rome back in the old days, back in the ancient times. They were no better than them. So you can't blame Bush. This is not about conservatism. This is not about liberalism. This is about right and wrong. And the right thing to do is to give the American people the truth. Things are not as bad as they want. Number one, as they say, number one. Number two, there has to be a compromise. You have to be able to balance. It can't be one lopsided idea versus one lopsided idea. You have to bring both sides together. And Obama says, I want bipartisanship. I want bipartisanship. He's not going to get bipartisanship with Nancy Pelosi and Harry Reid trying to slam ultra-liberal crap down their throat like $2.5 to Acorn or another 50 Five hundred billion on global warming. I don't five hundred billion. Five hundred million. Of course, I, I, I made a Nancy Pelosiism because I said five hundred million. She said five hundred million people losing their jobs. There's only three hundred million people in the country, people. But anyway, long story short, this stimulus package is nothing but pork. It's a reward for the people who got bomb elected. This is not what we need right now. Not in this form. We need some kind of stimulus, but this ain't it. Don't be fooled by the Obama administration. Don't be fooled by the press. They're trying to make this something that, is, is, that it isn't. Don't be fooled. Read for yourself, people. Do your research. Look behind the curtain and see that the wizard is just a man. Do not be fooled. I beg you to read and research for yourself. Read the bill. It's on the Library of Congress. You can read it for yourself. You can go to any multitude of different websites and read the particulars of this bill and see the pork, the pork, pork, pork that is out there that's going to cripple this country. Obama is rolling the dice, and I guarantee he's going to come up snake eyes. This is not going to work because it's the wrong type of recovery plan because it's not a recovery plan if he really wanted to I mean honestly it's it's not a recovery plan if you're talking about well we're gonna make all these green jobs well mm, something, something in my mouth it's not gonna be about green jobs green jobs and all this kind of stuff I mean honestly he says we're gonna make four million jobs by investing in building this and building that not everybody's a construction worker and all these green jobs, not everybody's a scientist. Not everybody knows how to work with wind and solar and, and biofuels and all that kind of stuff. I mean, we need real jobs that real people can do. So like I said, people, don't be fooled. I'll be talking about this more in the future. Until next time, hmm.